How you doing? This is Don with IdleTools.com, and we are going to start getting new graphics cards, in my opinion. I have been watching the graphics card market all summer, just like many, 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 every one of you. You are in the graphics card mining, you've been watching the graphic card prices. And I've been watching the justification of the price increases. <laughs> I believe that there was an artificial constriction to graphic cards that came out so that they could justify an artificial overinflation as the cards come back in the market. And it wasn't by the manufacturers. I believe it was by China itself. Uh, why do I believe this? Because I am the gun muse. If you don't know this, uh, I have been dealing with China since the late 1990s. And this isn't the first time they pulled this tactic. Uh, China has a, a company called China Star way back in the 1990s. We caught them taking manufacturers' products that were being built, sc scopes uh, particularly, and they were selling them, hey, Mr. Manufacturer, we'll make, we'll make 50,000 of these scopes for you. And then they wouldn't turn the line off. And then they would turn around and sell 50,000 of them to the distributors before the manufacturer even got their product. Then they would sell 50,000 of them to the retailers before the distributors got the product before the manufacturers got the product and then the day or the week before there would be some super special on ebay this new product line on ebay and all of a sudden everybody could buy scopes below wholesale and what it wound up being was china was selling the product four times what the market could absorb boom boom done move to the next product line next product line uh uh, ping golf clubs was 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 famous for it there were more counterfeit ping golf clubs on the market than there were originals and you couldn't put them in a test machine and tell the difference because it was the same assembly line ah so having witnessed this before in part of my what i do with businesses to help them get around this product i'm doing this for myself this time and what we're showing you here now is my little s37 i got a Great video on that. Everybody has been very, very kind words on the S37 videos. Uh, I am going to have the How to Tune Power Supplies video. I've gotten a couple comments on that that I mentioned it offhand that I didn't tune it on the motherboard, but I will, that because I'm going to tune it on the power supply itself, I will be doing that video, I promise. Uh, matter of fact, this is part of this test setup that, you know, I mentioned these things. So I'm going to go... Here is my current setup in here. I got three 580s. I got a Samsung, uh, which I cannot tune anymore. I could tune when I got it. Uh, then one day it decided it wasn't going to let me no more. Just I've got to go back to factory settings and run it that. It just, no matter what I've done with the BIOS since then, original factory aftermarket, it doesn't care. It won't let me overclock. It won't let me underclock. So this card is what it is at this point. Uh, I get 28 mega hash out of it. Uh, I think 52, 53 out of Ergo. I normally am mining Ergo on here. Uh, I reset my settings back up for uh, uh, ETH mining because it's the commonality. Uh, I don't have faith in ETH long term, so I'm mining Ergo. Uh, it's I'm mining Ergo because I actually think Ergo could do something. I think ETH is all about bleeding the market dry and being the other guy. Uh, everything that's tied into ETH is too expensive to use. Uh, it makes no sense to me as a businessman. I, there's, I, I deal with thousands of customers a year and I won't accept crypto through ETH. It costs too much, it costs too much. They're, they're, the, the fees are outrageous. So if it doesn't make any, any sense for me to accept your funds in ETH, then we don't care. Uh, the NFT market blowing up, that's because people mined up ETH and then it blew up in value and they had this mind up ETH because it was a, a mean project really that got big. So there's a lot of spare ETH out there to buy things that again, do they hold, does an NFT really hold value? You don't know after four months, I promise you. No, none of us know. I'm not going to say yes or no. I have no clue. There has, you know, I wouldn't think a Michael Jordan tennis shoe would be worth money but they're worth a couple thousand bucks. So you know, the old original ones, right? So I've always said, it's worth what it's worth in your mind. It's worth what it's worth to you. That's, this is property. This is not currency. 
No one is dictating the value of this product. All right. So I got my 580s here and I got a similar product. <coughs> you won't guess where I bought this thing. I bought this off of, I was playing a video game on my phone and it was one of the ads that popped up and I bought this thing for $237. Now I have bought $3,000 worth of cards directly out of China within the last two weeks because I saw them showing up in Japan. Japan has a thing called grassers, grazers, I don't remember what it's called. Basically what America calls pajama boys, top knotters, worthless human beings who do not want a job in any way, shape, manner, or form. They're looking for whatever sounds like it's not work in order to earn money. Uh, with that in mind, <laughs> probably 95% of the people watching this would consider themselves that. But we're going to have to put some work in in order to make some work. I, I, I hate the phrase that I see every other YouTuber use, which is uh, passive income. There ain't been nothing passive about what I've done here. I dig, I research, I plan, I predict, and I found out if my predictions were valid. That's what I do. Okay, so using past experience. You know, I get the benefit of a couple of decades of experience before there ever was cryptocurrency with the same players who now embraces. Boy, there's a big delay in that camera to this camera. Uh, <laughs> something I just noticed on my, on my studio screen here. So this is a four gigabyte card. All right. So I got it for 237 bucks uh, and just came in the mail today. I've got a whole bunch of 3090s coming and I'm playing the credit card game. I got 90 days to dispute the card. So either the stuff comes in and it works or it doesn't, which is what I'm doing on this one. And I'm doing this for you guys because the box looks good. And a four gig memory card is valid today. And at 237 bucks, depending on the hash rate, I might be down into the 90 day ROI on this again, which would be too much for this car. So let me state that before we even do anything on this. Uh, two, 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 Sapphire unit. Grand Central Plaza, Hong Kong. I've been to Hong Kong twice when it was still free. Hong Kong is no longer free. Uh, Hong Kong is a slave nation with a hundred year old trade agreement with the United States. So they get to actually ship product to us cheaper than we can ship it from state to state. Uh, let me see. I got this camera set up so that if I'm reading it, you're reading it. All right. Woo let's go here. Yep, Sapphire, RX 580. Uh, the plastic back plate, which is normal for a 580. And I'm probably not going to be able to show it on camera. What I'm doing is I'm looking down that back plane, making sure there's heat sinks in there because I'm not going to do a disassembly and I will do a disassembly and repad on this thing. Uh, the... Uh, but I'm not going to do it before I test it. Now, uh, on these RX 580s, let me bring this. Hold on, let me bring this back under the camera. I want to show these back planes because this is normal. Uh, as I'm setting these into my S, I'm going to be putting this in that S37 I was showing you. Uh, I will, like I said, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to take all these screws out, and I'm going to detach. This is usually on a plug, the DVI port. I'm going to unplug that. And I'm going to take all the back planning off of this. And that's going to stop a buildup of air pressure from these two fans. As these fans spin, there's not enough. Well, I'm showing it to myself. This grate, which is the exit port, we suck in more air than we allow going out. All right. Now, uh, you don't want to completely eliminate the back plane. You want a little bit of back pressure that allows uh, the air orgy is what I'm going to call it. The air must have time to absorb the heat and the faster the air is moving. People like to say the word volume, which is more air, uh, but you can have the same volume of air that's moving at a different velocity, right? So when you got a smaller hole like this, big fans, it builds up pressure on this side 
and as it escapes the smaller port, the escaping causes cooling effect to the air that escaped. So why do we care? We don't care about the air that escaped. Now we don't want to eliminate it altogether because we want to make sure there's enough back pressure because look at here on this end. See any back pressure on that end? So this fan here spins and air gets to come off that heat exchanger and go that direction, right? Well, if air is going that direction and our cases are all set up to have air moving from this side to this side, and we're back pressuring here, we're creating another back pressure in the case over here. Ever so slight, almost impossible to measure with anything you use at home. So you just gotta mentally know that we don't want more back pressure on this side than we get on this side. If it was a single card inside of a computer, it would not matter in any way, shape, manner, or form. But we're gonna take this back pressure that we're, that we're gonna create here, we're gonna take it times eight, right? Uh, simple fixes to this, guys. Cardboard. Just cut yourself a piece of cardboard back plane, go around all your cards, make an air dam. Do it over here too. And then have your center airflow come in separated from this airflow. And you will get the maximum change in air performance that way. So if you're doing one of these greenhouse things that everybody likes to do, I'm not doing the greenhouse thing, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, I do build cardboard air dams, just so everybody knows. Now this one doesn't have, I'm looking now, Actually, it might. No, it does not. It This does not have a bio switch. Uh, it's a good looking card. And I'll tell you what you can't see on camera. It's heavy, which means there's real metal in here. I don't believe this is a counterfeit card. Uh, I believe this, I got this at what would be a good deal today for, for 580. 580s are going for 400 bucks. If I was smart, I'd probably slap it on eBay for for 425 bucks, and a buy it now would take it out of my hands. I'd make 150 bucks in one day. Uh, what? A, but I'm not that smart because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slap it into the S37. And I did just notice one thing. No, it did not have a pin guard on it. There was no pin guard in that box. <coughs> uh, so we'll stop the film here. I'll edit in the, uh, we'll show you one more graphic here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Screen one on. All right. <coughs> ah, damn it. Sorry about that. All right. So we're going to show you this one more time. Um, uh, I got a 30, 31. Now, normally my uh, X, X, F, X uh, is the higher hash rate, but I was farting around with the tuning uh, when I was playing with the Ergo, and I didn't put it back right, apparently, because it'll normally run right at 32. I get 32, 31 and a half out of my 590 is normal. You would think the 590 would be better than a 580. It is not. It has not ever shown me to be. Uh, matter of fact, it's harder to tune in than the 580s are. And like I said, my... Uh, my Samsung uh, 580 runs cooler. I know it says it's not. Right there it says it's running 58. But if I cranked it up, it would run cooler than the other two. But I'm running 52 degrees on these. And we're running uh, 70 to 90 watts. And that is actually verified. I think they are uh, under reporting by four watts. Each card is. Uh, the motherboard, that's a motherboard reported watt usage, and it's uh, physically managing it to about four watts more per card. Uh, that the cards are actually drawing, and then I've got these on platinum power supplies and such. So we'll, we'll cut in the result to this card so that you can safely start buying yourself. Thank you.